day three, uh, January 27th, 2021. Uh, it is currently 7.59 and we only have a few seconds uh, before students come in. January 27th, 2021, day three, uh, TOEFL group. Hey, good evening, Irene. How are you? Good evening. How was your day? My day was... was very nice. for I'm sorry, Dina. It's hard to hear you. Okay, um, I said that my day was very nice. Uh huh. And but then you 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 explain why 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 was it very nice? Ah, uh, very nice because uh, I am very busy in San Julian. Ah, uh, you you are in San Julian. Uh-huh, I was driving. Ah, okay. And do you work in San Julian? Hi, good evening. Good evening, Mario. How are you? No, I work in Santa Ana because I live in Santa Ana too, but I travel to San Julian to visit a To visit, only to visit. Uh -huh. I I uh, I will visit uh, two enterprises in, in Santonate. Ah, okay, okay, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. And for you, Mario, what did you do today? Uh only work <laughs> uh, we are we are uh, reviewing the financial statements of the company because uh, the auditors came to the no, no not came but they are they are audit auditing the the company and we have to 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 give her the their financial statements. So all this week we are working from the notes and all the reports and all the stuff. So it was a very hard day, I think so. But it's, it's, it's the same from every year in this, in this, in this, in this month. Yeah, so. And what is your function at in Life Miles, Mario? I am accounting analyst, so I elaborate. Elaborate? Well, no, I preparing the financial statements. So, in the accounting department, first you have to to register or yeah, or doing all the journal entries for the all the transactions on the the last month of the year. So then you finish the the, the journal entries and. After that, you have to prepare the financial statement. So uh, when you finish the financial statement, you have to present in the, the reports and the financial statements to the board of directors. 
So my function is, is that to prepare the financial statement because my, the, the general, the accountant general manager, uh, they have to prepare the, like the, the, the meeting for this financial statement from the uh, board of directors. So after that, I try to uh, search the, the mistakes of all these uh, account transactions and prepare reports from the auditors for the SOX compliance and uh, internal auditors. And even though I prepare reports from the financial financial uh, department, so yeah, it's, it's a little complicated in, in this month, but we have jobs so we're still going to, to work hard in all the department, yeah. Okay, uh, so you are, you are the first to know when the company is having financial difficulties, when the company is, is recovering, uh, you, you are the first to see all of the data to, to have all of this. Correct, but we are all the team, so we, we separate in a different areas of the financial statement, for example, we have revenues, we have expenses, we have cash, we have assets, uh, intangible assets, etc. So we are around five analysts and one supervisor and the manager. So we are separate from different areas of the financial statement. And when all the, the co-workers finish their jobs, I prepare the reports, but yeah, uh, Actually, I and from the accounting analyst, I am the first to 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 know what is the financial situation of the company. Yeah, yeah, because you have all of the you have all of the input from all of the different areas. Correct. Yeah. And this is uh, Life Miles in Salvador only, or Life Miles Central America, or, or what? Is Life Miles in Central America, North America, Europe? Because uh, we concentrate all the the. The, the work here in, in El Salvador, but we have a, a team in Costa Rica, we have a team in Colombia, and they all centralize the information here in El Salvador. Mm. Yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah, but we see all the, the companies, it's like, a reg it's regional. Yes. So, yeah. Okay, all it's right. Very, it's very interesting. And the important is you like your job. That's the most yes, important. Totally. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, good evening, Daniel. Veronica, how are you? Good evening. I am fine. Fine. Thank you. Great. Great to hear that. Daniel, how about you? I'm okay. Thank you, Edwin. Great. Thank you for asking. I'm glad everybody's doing good. I know always at the end of the day is a little difficult. I hope you had dinner. I hope you you are not thinking, uh, oh, when uh, the class finished, after. I want to eat. I want to eat. I want to eat. Yes, <laughs> after, after the class, the English class. Ah, very late. Very late, Daniel. You eat dinner very late. It's early. It's mm. early. Too. <laughs> I didn't take my, my dinner yet. <laughs> You either, Veronica. Wow. And what time do you guys go to bed? What time do you go to sleep? 10, 11, 11 p.m. <laughs> oh, so you eat and then to bed. <laughs> ah. Yes, around 11 too, in my case. 11. Because after the English class, and sometimes I have to check the emails, uh, some reports, sometimes. Mm -hmm. But... Uh, Around 11, I'm going to the bed. Okay, all right. And you, Veronica? It depends because sometimes I have to do uh, activi uh, some activities here in my, in my home. And sometimes I go to the bed um, at the 12 or in other times, uh, 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. It depends. <laughs> 
Well, it's a big it's a big difference 11 to 2 a.m <laughs> yes. 2 a.m is like friday at the party <laughs> at, after the yeah 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 okay all right well guys i'm glad you made it um even though we are only four we're gonna go ahead and get started um as you know we are looking at our readings and um if you are in the computer it's easy for you to follow um if not i also send to the whatsapp group um, this is the second activity for the section one reading. So this is the second activity. And here are what we're talking about reference questions. Uh, really what we are saying when we are talking about reference questions are we are looking at what are they talking about? Okay, that's the main idea. So first we can see the questions here. The phrase these people in the passage refers to Okay, the phrase these students in the passage refers to, okay, all of them are similar. They're all talking about they refer to, okay. So I think I only, I'm just thinking right now, but I think I only sent one of those images. I didn't, I, I'm looking at and I don't see the other ones that I sent, okay. So that's the idea. The idea is in order to make sure that you can answer the questions, you need to make sure that you understand what it is. When you are not clear or one of the tips that you can use is change it. Change the word that they're using for the one that you think. Okay, so if you are not sure, you change the word. For example, if you think they is for uh, a people in the world, you replace it. Attempt to accommodate people in the world. Or if you think it's tourist, attempt to accommodate tourists. Okay, or attempt to accommodate developers. The best way to think about it or a good tip is if you are uncertain, the one or the two choices that you think it is, replace it and see if the sentence is logical. See if it's still talking about the same topic. Does it still have a good idea? And this would usually be able to help you out a lot. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a couple of things. We're going to do uh, of course, we're going to answer these questions, but also we want to read them with our partners. We want to go through the vocabulary and we want to paraphrase. So we actually are going to do four things, okay? Four activities that we're going to do. One, we're going to read. So imagine Mario reads the first one, I read the second one, okay? Daniel reads the third one, as an example. With our partners, we each are going to read one of the passages, okay? That's one. Then we're going to talk about the vocabulary, not answer the question. First, talk about the vocabulary and make sure that you understand. For example, I see in there, there are some new words for me and I say, oh, ah, I don't know, Daniel, what is exquisite? Or I'm not sure, um, Irene, what are regions? And this is the first part, okay? So read, talk about the vocabulary, explain what I understand. I understand the topic or this passage is about this. It's talking about this, perfect. And then in part four, now that we are clear in the vocabulary, we are clear what we understand, then we choose what, would, what we understand is the best answer. What does that phrase represent? Is that okay? Mario, yeah, Daniel, yeah, okay, I see. The others, uh, I can't see because they have their camera off, but it's okay. If they, if you, Veronica and Irene, if you don't speak, I understand that it's okay. Yeah. Hey, there you go, thumbs up, I like it, all right. Hey. <laughs> okay, Veronica, perfect. So we're gonna make partners. Like I said, you can check on the computer if you have it, you can do it directly on the platform. That way it's registered and that way you don't have to do it later again. You can do it right now. Um, if not, if you are on the cell phone, it's also in the WhatsApp group, okay? So let's get started. We'll have just two groups because we're a very small group today.
Irene, are you okay? Are you having some difficulty uh, accessing the, the group? Okay, let me check and see. May I read? Okay. One of the most potentially explosive international pro problems is that of mass tourism of the more than 6 billion people in the world. An increasing number of them are determined to travel annually a vast number to no annually a vast number of travel hungry tourist trips around the globe and thousands of perfect beaches quiet village historic cities and regions of exquisite natural beauty beauty have become victims of the developers building schemes attempts to accommodate these people have led to the destruction of the very attraction that they have come to enjoy and have made daily living almost impossible for the local residents. Just that. Living almost impossible for the local residents. Yes. Uh, for me, I have a difficult with uh, a few words because I didn't understand, but we can Google it. Uh, for example, for me, the, the, the word traips, traips, traips and quaint, traips, quaint, schemes. Quaint, quaint. Ah, quaint. Mm -hmm. quaint. So these these words I, I don't know what is the meaning. So we need to to Google it. Tribes. 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 To walk from one place Tribes. to another. Ah. Trace is to what walk. It's like to walk one place to another. If for example you go out, go in a um, tourist uh, attractions, and then you go to another tourist attractions, and you are like uh, going to one place to another. This is the the reason what you say tra trips okay. around the globe. Okay, and those are of perfect beaches, quaint, quaint village, quaint, quaint. But I don't know if you have another word that you didn't understand or you don't understand. In my case, a uh, bat annually a bat number. Bat is like an uh, half big big number, yeah. Big number. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Uh, quaint is attractive because of being in, unusual and special. Ah, quaint village. Historic cities are rich in this case. Okay. Ah. I don't know if uh, Jose or I don't know, they have a lot of word that didn't understand. Mass. Don't understand. Mass. Mass. Mass is like a, a a mass is a bit, I don't know, a lot of people, a lot of people. I don't know if I, I'm okay, Mr. Edwin. Yeah, mass yeah. is, a, is a, a big number of people. Okay. Mass. Okay, and well, happens. if we answer this the first, for me, the phrase, these people on this passage, Refers, refers to, to... developers. <clears throat> Jose, do you understand what uh, what everything that's going on in all of the words? Yeah, uh, yeah. Developers. I, the most of them I, I understood. I think the mm -hmm. the best of one is a, a tourist. I don't know, Veronica. 
if you are okay with uh, um, Mario, or you have another one? Uh, I have a new between B or C. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, so that's the so go ahead. That's with your partner. That's the idea. You discuss it. You remember the technique. You take the word that you think and you replace it. And you instead of these people, you replace it with if you think it's A, you put in A. If you think it's B, you put in B. And then you read it and see which one for you is more logical within the context. And that's yeah, the yeah. That's okay. the, remember, these are the techniques that you need to apply when you are doing the exam as well, to make sure that you are understanding everything. Okay. okay. Yes, Jose, I, yes, for me, it's, it's the same in stories. You have, you are right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So maybe you can read the number two, Veronica. Okay. Wait, please. <laughs> Traditionally, I'm built into the biggest commercial operation of its kind in the world. Among the millions of photographs the archive contains are some of the most memorable images, images of the 20th century. Marilyn Monroe's standing by a street ray ventilating her skirt. Einstein sticking our this tongue and the Hindenburg exploding into flames. According to the Batman, the archive success was due to his unique feeling system, which, the, he, which he designed to suit journalistic needs. For example, the Mona Lisa was not filed under paintings, or Leonardo da Vinci it was filed under smiling. Let me check the question. The word some in the phrase refers to sweet case for a picture library, commercial operation, archive for I have to read again. It's okay. Remember the beef you don't want you don't want to answer immediately. What you want to do is you want to make sure that first you read it. You and your partner discuss the vocabulary and make sure the vocabulary you understand. Then yeah you if necessary you can read again or you discuss what is the main idea what are they talking about and then in the part four that's when you're if you and your partner have a good understanding you understand the vocabulary you understand the context then it's easy for you to make a selection for what is the best word okay i'm going the Batman archive is a picture library that was founded in the 1930 by German immigrant, immigrant Otto Bettmann. He arrived in New York City with two suitcases of photographs, photographs and opened a picture library, which they built into the biggest commercial operation of the his kind of the world among the millions of photographs the archive contains are some of the most memorable images of the 20th century. Marilyn Monroe is standing by a street, gray ventilating her skirt. Einstein is sticking out his tongue, sticking, and the Hunterburg exploding into flames. According to Batman, the archive success was due to see his unique feeling system, which the he designing to suit journalistic needs. For example, the Mona Lisa was not filed under paintings, or Leonardo da Vinci, it was filed under smiling. I think the question refers to them, to them. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not sure the letter A, Suitcase of photo face, or sheep photo face. What do you think, Irene? For me, Daniel, uh, when when we talking about people in the past, I refer to, to tourists, maybe. The first one, yes. 
Yes, the first one is tourist. No, the, the second, the, uh -huh, the, the first one is tourist. Yes, yes. You are in, in the second one. The second and one is... Uh -huh. Yes, students. For me, is the, the, the teenager, maybe? No, it's the no. elderly. El, elderly, ah, oh, okay. Uh -huh. In the third, the third one, the third one. The commercial operation. Huh? Why? In the third one? Um, why? Why, why commercial the, operation? The, why the, no, no, I, 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 Do you think? I ask you. Ah, mm, may, I think it's maybe. Uh -huh. No, no. Uh, I, I, I ask you. Hello, Irene. I, I, I think we lost you. Ah, <laughs> uh, the teacher is very bad, teacher. Yeah, I hear. Uh -huh. I... But I said that in the in the in the third one uh, for me the the answer maybe uh, for workshop. Okay. All right. Daniel, did you uh -huh. hear? Uh, archive, archive photographs. The letter D. The letter D, yes. Let me check. Yes, letter D. You are mute, Daniel. Daniel, you are mute. Sorry. How do you say adivinar? I guess, no. I guess, yes, that's correct. You guess. Ah. Mm -hmm. I, I try to guess the first two questions. <laughs> you and uh, I, no, I, I, I just do. Okay. I think very, very well the, the first two paragraphs, but okay. the third one, I, 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 I know I, I didn't. I didn't sure. I didn't watch sure. I, I wasn't. Was, I wasn't. I was sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, don't worry. That's the idea that we are going to uh, talk together to make sure that everything is okay. So, uh, for the other group, how was everything? Did you have any questions? Any doubts? Yeah, it's almost the same. We couldn't finish the third paragraph. And like you were discussing about the, the first one and the second one. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, and the third one is the one that gave you a, a little bit of problems. Okay. Oh, we couldn't finish. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's do it together then. Uh, if, if you couldn't finish, it's not a problem. And we make sure um, that way everybody has the same idea. I'll share my screen with you. Okay. Okay, and for the let's start off with the first one to make sure that it's clear. In the first one, um, were there any questions? Were there? Well, I think I'm in the wrong one. Hang on, the word utensil. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah, that was the one from yesterday. I'm looking at. Sorry about that. Okay, here we go. Okay, there we have. 
the phrase these people um were you able to get this one did you have an uh where was your decision with your partners for these people is letter b letter b the tourist yeah the tourist okay okay i think everybody agrees because everybody's quiet okay all right what about for number two what did you guys think was number two the elderly elderly everybody agree? okay good we agree for the elderly all right oops yes elderly okay great now let's read number three okay i'll make this a little bit larger just because it's a little small to see there okay okay i'm going to read it and if you have any questions then you ask me for the pronunciation and i'll pronounce them again okay, okay. so it's the the batman archive is a picture library that was founded in 1930s by german immigrant otto batman he arrived in new york city with two suitcases of photographs and opened a picture library which he built into the biggest commercial operation of its kind in the world among the millions of photographs the archive contains are some of the most memorable images of the 20th century. Marilyn Monroe standing by a street grate ventilating her skirt, Einstein sticking out his tongue, and the Hindenburg exploding into flames. According to Batman, the archive's success was due to its unique filing system, which he designed to suit journalistic needs. For example, the Mona Lisa was not filed under paintings or Leonardo da Vinci. It was filed under smiling. Are there any words that you would like me to pronounce again um, to make sure that you have it clearly? It's very yeah, clear, I but I, I think the, the archive is... No, I ah, think the ar archive is... Correct. Archive. It's archive. That's right. Archive. That's correct. Archives. Ah, mm -hmm. okay. I said archives. <laughs> That's okay, because we are used to that sound for when we have it uh-huh okay okay and in the case unique feeling system what first feeling filing the unique filing filing, filing system the the idea of the unique uh, of filing system is how do you organize do you organize by last name do you organize by author by first name like in a library for example this I is got the, it. Mm -hmm. okay thank you A question for the, the last the for example the Mona Lisa was not filed under paintings mm -hmm. or Leonardo da Vinci it was filed under smiling I don't know the, the meeting or the no no the meeting but the the idea of this example Mona Lisa was not filed under paintings but it's a paint right yes mm -hmm. correct the Mona Lisa is a painting in the Louvre um, but the the print or the image that he has mm -hmm. is when the people look for it is not under is not they look for paintings they look for for example for smiling and they look and they there in smiling they can find all of these different pictures they can find uh, I think he mentioned Marilyn Monroe uh, Einstein okay mm -hmm. or Einstein I think Einstein is probably one that is under uh, funny for example or mm -hmm. smiling that's the idea okay mm -hmm. you can think of it similar to in your house how you organize the things for you you organize a the spoons, the forks, the knives in a specific way, or, or the drawers, or the cups, or this is, you have your system. Mm -hmm. That's the same idea. For him, it became, a, the way that he organized it, it was very easy for the people to find the information. Okay, I understand. Mm -hmm. Any other questions for this part? 
Why the Mona Lisa was file under a smiling? But if the Mona Lisa doesn't smile in the picture. <laughs> That's the famous, that's why it's worth millions of dollars because in that time, that, that is a smile in, in that time uh, of the history, that is what a smile was. Mm -hmm. um, in, uh, medically, uh, uh, so that you understand the, the history for it, medically, the women and the men did not smile with their teeth because in that time, there was no toothbrush. This means that most of the people that were poor uh, did not have teeth. They were missing their teeth because they didn't have a way to brush them. So most people did not smile. They only smiled with their lips. Uh, okay. And that's why at I that time, mm -hmm. but if you look at paintings and when you see the invention of the toothbrush, then in the paintings, in the art, you begin to see the people show their teeth. And in the paintings, you see it. And it's, it's for medical reasons. It's for, because in this time, if you have teeth, you have a lot of money because only the people with a lot of money have to, to be able to pay for a dentist, to put another tooth, to do these things. But the normal people, no. Okay. Good information. You're welcome. Uh, very, very interesting information because I didn't know that. Uh, I, didn't know, I didn't know that too. Uh -huh. I thought that maybe Mona Lisa, they don't uh, show her teeth because they are ugly teeth or... or yeah, yeah, they're pretty much. They, yeah, they, they, probably, they probably the Mona Lisa maybe only have uh, uh, one tooth or two teeth. I mean, <laughs> you don't know because in that time, many people did not have normal teeth. Mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. The other words and the other things are okay for here? Yeah. Okay. Then let's return to this part. Okay. Here. Yeah, you are in mute. Okay, there. Good Thank day. you. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know automatically. <laughs> I, I only changed screen and it went to mute, but okay. All right, sorry about that. It says the the word sum in the passage refers to, so after we, now that we understand what we're talking about, the filing, the person who created the archive, Our archive is a way to say like library or, but mm -hmm. for, for files or documents, not for books. That's more mm -hmm. the idea, okay? Like um, in modern society, we, we think of it like this for, for documents. And what is the word sum? What do you think does sum mean? Uh, for me, it's letter D, archive photographs. Letter D, for you is letter D, okay. Anybody else? Do you agree? Do you disagree? You have a different opinion? I agree. Okay. Okay. You didn't, and I, I thought we had a, a Jose and Daniel. I, I, I think the uh, Jose answered, but I wasn't sure. Yes, letter D. Letter D, okay. All right. Well, there we can see. I'm submitting it right now. We should have just a moment. Okay, maybe it doesn't allow me to submit it. <laughs> That's a, a little unusual. I'm not sure why. I already clicked. It's a drama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah there, yeah. there we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's it's kind of like the TV show. Final answer? Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to be a millionaire? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Okay, so we have archive photographs. That's right. Very good. Um, I know that we went through number three. Were there any questions for number two or number one? Any words that were still not clear with your partners?
Uh, sorry, Evan, I, I can hear you because I have bad connection. Can you oh, repeat? Yes, I, I said, are there any questions for number one or number two uh, for any of these? No, we, we discussed the, the, the vocabulary, the, the meaning. Vocabulary, yes, with the, okay. with the yes. partners, yes. Okay. No problem. It's okay. All right. In, in paragraph two, um, it says mature workers. What is this? What does, it's in parentheses. Um, you can see it's right here. It says mature workers. What does that mean? Uh, a person or a worker that are too elderly, like for example, a group of, of people yeah, that have, uh, they have uh, maybe 15, 16 years old and they work from a company because the, the usual is that the young people works in the company. With Jones, I means maybe 20 to 35, 40, I don't know. But mature workers is like the elderly people, like they are uh, probably uh, close to the pensions and they are actually still working. I don't know. Okay, all right. It's like we, when we went to the supermarket and we see uh, like the elderly people to put the the groceries in the bags. It's an example for mature workers, right? That is correct. That okay. is correct. Mm -hmm. And and in fact, this is happening even to. It's, it's funny that they're talking about this uh, uh, of these mature workers of using the the or training them how to use the cash register. But mm -hmm. this, this is actually happening in El Salvador with Minet training teachers how to use technology. Exactly. <laughs> because th th usually the mature teachers, the, the ones that work for 20, 30 years, they never needed to use a computer. So they never learned. But I have a question from the, the, the word mature. Yeah. How can you say that a people is mature uh, in which... Uh, Age, uh, I don't know. For example, for me, mature is a people who have a, a person who have a sixteen years old, maybe. Ah, uh, uh, no, no, no. Uh, um, mature is usually considered someone who is very, um, very intelligent, very wise. Uh, oh. They are responsible. They can uh, maybe they can. Um, support themselves or manage and many times you hear mature used in different contexts mm -hmm. uh, as an example sometimes you hear a, um, uh, talking about a 13 year old a, a boy 13 or a girl 13 years old and they say oh she is very mature or he mm -hmm. is very mature this means that they act like an adult okay they, they do not act like children that is the idea for mature in those contexts no depends of the age. Okay, it doesn't depend. Yeah, exactly. is is not mm -hmm. is not actually a, a description for age. It's mm -hmm. more a mental a, 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 a description for how they are and how their attitude is. Could be a a people a person who has a lot of experience. Yeah, exactly. It could be. It could be. And the same. It, maybe there's someone who is 40, 50 years old. But they act like children. They always are fighting. They're always talking. They're always gossiping. This is immature. Okay, so it's not it's not only about the ages. It's more of a mental state. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, so now we're going to go again. We're gonna have our. We're gonna make a with our partners, we're going to make little groups. And we want to go to the next exercise, which is sentence simplification. Remember the idea, I'm going to show you uh, just to make sure that it's clear what we're going to be working on. The next exercise is sentence simplification. That was the part that we saw where is we are given a sentence and we have to choose another sentence that has the same meaning as the original sentence, OK? So the idea is here you are giving the word or the sentence fainting is caused by a sudden drop in the normal blood supply to the brain. And with your partners, you're going to discuss which of the four options 
is the similar or closest in meaning to the original. Okay, and you're going to do the same for all of the ones that they give you. Okay. okay. Any questions for that part? No. No? Okay. Now remember, uh, the they always try to trick you because they try to give you, so many times they give you extra information that is not needed. Remember what we talked about yesterday, the most important or the easiest way is think of it like a timeline, yeah, right? The beginning, the middle, the end, kind of think about what is, what is the topic, what what is the information that I need? What is the what is the object or what are they talking about referring to? And that's usually going to be able to make it easier for you to understand and choose which is the one. Okay, so let's make our groups and let's get started. Can you, I forgot the word. Can you share your screen, please, with the, the exercise? In my case, Verito, uh, it's a pleasure, but I have problem with internet when I uh, share my screen. My internet is very bad. My internet too, and you, Jose? Well, I'm trying to connect to the platform. It wasn't, it wasn't in. Maybe uh, I will. Okay. Is the exercise about reading, right? Referring questions. Yes. Yes. Sentence simplification. I are you guys on your cell phone i'm not in a WhatsApp group yet? Ah, because I was going to say if you are in the WhatsApp group, I put, I share the exercise in the WhatsApp group and you can check there. Okay. And if you can see, I just. Okay. Mm -hmm. ah, that's, that's better. Okay. 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 Who started? Who started? If you want, I can with the third one. Okay. Okay. The picture said the fountain is caught by a sudden drop in the normal blood supply to the brain. The brain. Can you tell me what does mean fountain? Fountain. Yes, yeah, what well, is when you fell down because you are dizzy? Or yes, not? yes, yes. Oh. Is it okay? Fainting. Did you understand? Yes, yes. Okay. Thank you. Fainting. 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 Fainting, of course, when the brain so many loose. It's normal blood supplies. Okay. Which gonna be the the correct? I actually don't, but. <laughs> we know the answer. The como que te desmayas. Sorry for saying in Spanish. It's oh, like, right. uh huh. 
Oops, sorry, the teacher is here. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We, so, we... for the first, I think, uh, fainting happens when the brain drops. No, the brain reacts to drop in the normal blood supply. But no, fainting occurs when the brain suddenly lost the normal blood. For me, it's not level B. For me, fainting. letter C. C. <laughs> fainting happens when the brain drops its normal blood supplies. Okay. No, maybe maybe letter B. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Fainting occurs the when the brain suddenly loses it loses its normal blood supply. Uh huh. I think it's level B. Okay. 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 And fine, only remember the important is always look at the difference. For example, one says uh, suddenly loses and one says the brain drops. So what mm -hmm. is so what is the difference? Loses is have zero, no more. And drops is only reduce. Right? So no, mm -hmm. it's fine. It's, your decision is good. Only just to that way you always think how they how they try to trick you in the exam, because they they give you information that is very similar, but mm -hmm. you have to be clear for the two or three different words to see what is the difference in meaning, and that's going to be able to help you. Mm, okay. Okay. Yeah, go to number two. Mm -hmm. So for number two, okay. gorillas, which are vegetarians, have been observed to demonstrate gently behavior towards small creatures in the wild. Hmm. Gorillas, which are vegetarians, have been observed to demonstrate gentle behavior towards small creatures in the wild. Vegetarians have been observed to demonstrate gentle behavior toward gorillas and small creatures in the wild. <laughs> I think the four are, are okay. <laughs> <laughs> random, random answer. Uh, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> wow. Uh, maybe maybe letter D, I think is a good option. Um, tower. <laughs> In the direction of, as regards the relation to, okay. Uh, uh, which uh, uh, have been observed to demonstrate gentle behavior. Towards market. Ah, okay. Only beginner have been observed. Little B, you said little B, right? Yes. Only vegetarian think? gorillas have been observed has. What do you think? Hmm. Yeah, I think the same. The letter B. Only vegetarian gorillas. Because have been... the letter A couldn't be because because we don't talking about the vegetarians. Because we are we uh -huh. are talking about the gorillas that are veg vegetarians. Uh huh. Uh huh. Come on. Okay. The letter B. Only vegetarian gorillas. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. gorillas which are vegetarian. Only vegetarian gorilla has been observed and demonstrating gentle behavior toward small creatures in the wild. I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. But we assume that the gorillas are vegetarians. 
but then level B says only vegetarian gorillas. Is for example, we have if the the, the gorillas uh, eat or some kind of gorillas ate uh, meat, but I don't know. But yeah, 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 little B. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, okay. In fighting forest fires, the initial attack crews dig a fire line, which varies in the white depending on the strength and nature of the fire. Medical quaker. Quaker, quaker. It's like uh, the people who lies you in order to convince you about anything. Mm -hmm. And number four. Up you. Mm -hmm. And number four. Well, analyzing the, what is the, the meaning of attract, attract? What is the meaning of attract to fake? Okay. What is the meaning of attract to fake? Are you fake. know? Well, fake is not real. Okay, so fake cures are not real cures. And attracted is yeah, that yeah, you, the, you like or that you want to go towards that. It's like a magnet. Like the magnet is attracted to each other. Mm, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, the next one is the... It's a silver compound. A silver compound has been found to kill the parasitic, paras, parasitic protozoa. It's okay, my pronunciation, teacher. Parasitic. Uh, parasitic. The, the word is parasitic. 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 Mm -hmm. Parasitic protosa. Protosa. Yes, that's right. Protosa. Okay, thank you. That the carry the carry the carry the carry, the carry by the dreaded seed fly and the cause sleeping sickness. Mm -hmm. but, any questions veronica Irene, any questions? Uh, me no, teacher. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. There are the boys. All right. So, as you can see, it is Yes, the idea is, is, or the structures, the question is very simple, right? Choose one that means the same, but it's not so easy because they make it very confusing. And that's the idea of us reviewing, analyzing, taking our time. Here in the class, we have lots of time. We have the time to analyze, to check, to see the meaning. But remember, when you do the TOEFL, 
that question, you only have 60 seconds to do, 120 the most, because you have a lot of questions to do and everything is with time. For me, this one, I would like to jump in now because it's complicated. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So we are going to pause right now. We're going to continue tomorrow. Tomorrow we finish the review for this and then go on to the next topic, okay? Okay, teacher. All Thank right. You. Thank you guys. Enjoy your dinner. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. See you. Bye -bye. You too. Bye-bye.